Let us pray. Lord, let the church praise you for the great things you have done for your people. May we always recognize with joy the presence of Christ in the Eucharist we celebrate. As John the Baptist healed the presence of our Savior in the womb of Mary, we ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us visit for a while for a short uh, message of our living best practice. My self-awareness and discovery was broken, which is very helpful in building friendship, community ties, and most of all, to persevere more in my chosen way of life to become an authentic religious missionary. As I saw, step by step, I learned to embrace the Montfortian spirituality with love and dignity through daily consecration to the Blessed Virgin Mary, active prayerful way of life, apostolate and mission, and exposure immersion with the poor. During these two years of my formation in the one part missionary, what I can say is thank you very much. I am very grateful and truly thankful for all those lessons that I learned in life through this congregation of the Company of Mary. It's really a gift. First, I can see the magic moment of the ordinary things. Before, I just see things as they are, but now it's different. During my reflective moment, I can perceive that the ordinary things have transcendental meaning pointing to the infinite maker of all things. Like an archer that strikes his arrow to the target, the invisible archer captivates my soul to direct my attention to him. Thanks a lot to the wonderful apprenticeship of Father Roy, who taught me how to see things with the eyes of love with the eyes of Christ. He gave me the perception to look beyond the external appearance of things and to see and discover the unsuspected depth of it. Internal beauty, meaning, internal value, and significance that makes my heart feel the tender, warm, and gentle presence of God as if the glimpse of eternity is within my grasp. Second, the two years of formation in the seminary enables my shattered self to transmogrify into a well-integrated person. The different processes that I have undergone were like bird pounds, groaning in labor pains until now. I moan inwardly while I am waiting for my adoption to be called a truly adopted Son of God. I can say now that the making of a priest is not a joke. It entails a lot of hardships, sacrifices, and pains in order to bring forth an altar Christus. So within these two years, it is like a soul-making process in which the rough edges of my life were to be cut. Disproportionate activities were to be balanced and excesses of personality were to be trimmed down and the whole being of mine was to be molded and fashioned. 
Yes, more often than not, I cried in an excruciating pain, and my soul agonized in tears. But the process must be continued in order to bring out the best in me. Thank you, Company of Mary, because I can see in me the partial result, because you helped me a lot to intensify my vocation, to give myself to others, and to continue the mission of Christ for the sake of glory alone. For my family members, my friends, the benefactors, and all those who are present here, thank you very much for your prayers and unending support. May God bless us all. Jason, it's not the help of the four loses, but would you like to say, say something? Because he's supposed to be a spokesman, so I hope that he express also the ideas of the experience of the four. Thank you, Father, for giving for giving talk. <laughs> um, bago po nila ay sampol na kita sa man ay ako talaga. Ano ba sa isang tao mo na kapag siya ay binibigyan ng isang bagay? Ano po ba ang karaniwang sinasabi niya? Ayun. Yeah. Ang sasabi ko ay, well, ay Father, maraming salamat kay Father Richard. Ako, sumakay mo nga yun sa mabalik. Si Father Ramon. Si Father Ramon. Father Nelson. Si Father Aurelio, tahimik lang yan pero malalim. Ito, pinakabunga sa lahat, tahimik. Si Father Dodo. Ito, kilala niya ito. Bago ito, gusto niyo? Si Father Luis, galing yung bati. And then, si Father, sino sa next? Father Ariel. Mabalik yan, very gentle. And then, ang unang naging tatay ko sa profession, si Father Roy. Maraming salamat po sa mainit na pagtanggap. Mahigit sa lahat yung binigyan niyo kami ng pagkakataon na yung magkrupa na makapan at tulad nyo na sana ay maabot din namin ang isang buhay pagpapari. Ngunit dito ay patatang mo lamang sa pamamalitan ng inyong pagmamahal suporta at panalangin. Parang may salamat po. So I'd like to thank all those who have helped us in our officiate journey. All the forgiveness team, all the sisters, the sister Dennis, who also accompanied our novices, the STP, the Santa Teresita community, where our offices are going on a Sunday, Sunday I was today, and uh, those who are companions on the journey. So thank you very much, and uh, I'd like to uh, thank also the parents of uh, uh, Ray, Jason, and Dave, and Lloyd for offering uh, their child to God for God's service. So let us uh, continue praying for the full of them. So uh, thank you.
the offering your uh, children to the church. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As the liberation is ended, go in the peace of God. Thanks be to God.